Hello, everyone. I have some uh, slides to share that I created here to keep me on task here. I hope that's okay. Hello, my name's Anessa. Thank you for having me here today to speak to all of you regarding our journey uh, on the SCD. Uh, my son is, is 15 years old now, and he became ill when he was 10. He experienced all kinds of symptoms, such as the stomach pain and not able to keep food, food down, unable to sleep, and many visits to the doctor's office and emergency room, um, exhausted, lack of energy, the poor coloring, the rapid weight loss that came along with all of this. And at age 11, he was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Um, he, his numbers, his blood work uh, numbers were off the chart. We were told he was in a crisis condition. Uh, we were given recommended treatment, treatment plan. Um, and we were, we were told that, you know, if we didn't move forward with it, that our son wouldn't heal. Um, we were also told it had nothing to do with food. Uh, so we were very uneasy with that and um, needed to go home and, and just gather our thoughts and, and think about what, what we were going to do. Uh, we were given all the side effects that went along with all of this. And um, it just was a very uneasy, deep-rooted feeling that I had inside me that I needed to research. Um, I went home and I, I did day and night research. Uh, I reached out to different physicians around the country. I knew that I had to learn as much as possible about Crohn's disease and, and how it does attack the body. Um, and the microbiome, you know, what, what was this exactly? Um, and how do we restore it? Um, after countless nights of, of all-nighters, um, I was so lucky to come across Dr. Sidney Haas and the story of Elaine Godshell and, and her daughter. And at that moment, I can't even say, it was like, just, I was so excited um, that finally something made sense. Um, I could relate to, to this. And I was so excited um, that there was hope and another way to heal. Um, I've, I felt that my, my thoughts and feelings weren't so crazy after all. I went up and woke up my husband at three in the morning. And I, I told him, I, I know what we're gonna do. And uh, it's this SCD diet. And um, that very next morning, um, I had some excitement. I had a plan, although I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I cried a lot. I stood in the grocery store for three hours at a time and, and wondered how, how can I possibly do this? Um, I remember that day standing in the grocery store crying and thinking, okay, where do we start walking in circles? And at that, that moment, I had um, a doctor reach out to me that I had called on um, and just, he happened to call and, and he gave me that boost uh, to keep, to keep going, um, and, and try this. And even though I had all these, you know, the, the thoughts in the back of my head of, of here, I'm going against the doctor. I'm going against what they're, they're recommending for us to, to do. And, um, lots of thoughts, lots of frustration going on, um, lots of, of, just overwhelmed feelings that, that we all had. 
Um, and we started and, and two weeks had passed and it was an unbelievable response that our son had uh, to the diet. He, he got up off my lap and um, he wasn't throwing up um, as much. He, there was some relief. We saw some relief. Um, I remember my husband coming home and uh, seeing the kitchen looking like a tornado hit it and trying to figure it out and trying to create meals and snacks and just trying to make it the, the, the best I could for our son so that he would love this and, and, and respond to this. Um, our, my husband and our three other children um, immediately jumped in and, and said, we're gonna do this together with you um, to our son. And I have to say there's having a team like this is so extremely important. Um, we were so thankful um, to the support that we had. Um, we continued on looking um, for some other specialists, some physicians to just gather as much information as we possibly could. Um, we ended up traveling outside our state and we did find um, a doctor that did support the diet and did support us. And that's what I needed. I needed that hug that um, it's okay. You're doing, you know, he's responding. You're doing, you're doing good. Um, and I can't thank enough uh, all the, the people and the breaking the vicious cycle, the Bible, um, uh, the STD Rocks Conference and Foundation, Wellbees Liberated Foods, all the wonderful people out there that create menus and put it out there and help us get through, through this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it is a new lifestyle, you know, new traditions to do develop, um, new, new ways of living, new ways of thinking. Um, it's definitely been a life-changing experience to say the least. Um, and, you know, as, as the time went by, um, our, you know, the, the tests, the, all the tests that our son had to go through repetitively. Uh, we were watching his blood work, um, his numbers just go down. And because of this diet, um, the color in our son's face started coming back. He started looking healthy again, um, gaining weight and growing again. His energy was coming back. He was playing again. He was back to school and and back to sports, um, something we won't forget. Uh, our son came up to us and said, mom, dad, my legs, my legs work again. It, it feels so good to play basketball. Um, and his, his determination, um, he is, has been 100% um, SCD. We were so lucky that he did respond to it. We feel so thankful. Um, we're so inspired by his will and his determination at, at such a young age. Um, he has such a positive attitude. Um, he hasn't strayed from this diet um, due to his willpower. Um, and because of that willpower, he is in, in a deep remission, thank God. Um, the, his blood work and numbers are now below normal. Um, he's grown to about 5'10 five, five, today and is in the 150 pound range. He's growing leaps and bounds. He's on the golf team. He's playing basketball and lacrosse. He's a downhill skier. He loves water sports. He's learning how to cook. Uh, he knows what he can have and what he can't. He knows how to order in a restaurant. He's teaching his friends all about his diet. 
and he's, he's so eager to help others that are suffering in any way he can. Um, our work, over time, we've learned to, uh, how to try to live you know, a normal life and go out to dinner and be at a friend's house. Um, along the way, we've taught our friends and family about this new way of life. And everyone's adapted to it and have, has supported us immensely. Um, our son will, you know, everyone's interested. Everyone we've learned is interested. They want to be healthy. Um, we'll bring his a dessert to a party and his things that he can have. And it's funny because his things will be gone before the others. So we, we laugh about that. Um, we've, we've had, you know, think about hurdles that we, you know, still have to overcome. And, and that's hoping that, you know, uh, we can add new foods um, at some point um, and see how, how that goes. Uh, going away to college down the road here, you know, what, the, what is that going to look like? And how will he be able to stay on this diet? Will there be more people out there that, you know, will have catering businesses and restaurants and stores that we can go to? And, you know, our, our, my son said, our, our dream, a dream, I would love to go into my own grocery store and be able to fill my cart with things that I can have. Uh, so keeping it interesting and, and spreading the word to others um, is just a goal every day, helping people in any way we can. And I just wanted to thank you for, for letting me share our story today. And thank you to, to Jeffrey and the foundation and to all the people out there that uh, are sharing their stories. Um, I don't, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm, I'm a phone call away and email away. Um, I would be glad to help anybody I can in any way, my son as well. Um, and I think it's important to make people aware that there is another choice out there, that here it is and, and it did work. And we are very thankful and very fortunate that we are where we are today because of it. Um, you know, there, there is another way to heal our bodies and um, everyone is different and everyone has to do what's best for themselves and their families. Thank you.